Hello everyone, for OneWrestling.com, this is Bill After. Welcome into After's Alley, where you never know who's going to show up, what's going to happen. I want to talk to you today about a couple of uh, new products here. The first thing is, uh, there's a great new series of these graphic uh, well, comics, novels, called uh, Headlocked. And we will be talking to the uh, genius, the artist behind Headlocked somewhere uh in the next few weeks right here on one of our face-to-face -face segments on OneWrestling.com. Somebody asked me, by the way, they said, where can we get a copy, a DVD copy, of that videotape that you did with Gordon Soley, Lords of the Ring, which, by the way, was the very first commercial videotape ever. I dug out a copy from my, from my files here. Um, it's not on DVD. Vestron Video is no longer around, so I don't know the uh, answer to that, but uh, that was... Uh, that was classic. Pro Wrestling Illustrated was the uh, one of the sponsors of it, and uh, good stuff. But thank you for uh, writing in about that. Uh, the other new thing that I wanted to talk about um, is I got, and hopefully we'll get an interview with him uh, soon. I know you've heard some interviews, but I want to get some interviews with him that are different from the other interviews. Lex Luger's new book, Wrestling with the Devil, is out, and he talks about uh, he talks about everything. He talks about his career. Um, and he talks about what happened with Miss Elizabeth, uh, which everybody seems to uh, want to know what really happened uh, with he and she. So we'll we'll get to the bottom of that. So uh, yeah. oh, after his alley, yeah, come on in. Mr. Oh my, Bill, I've come from my audition. Oh my goodness. How are you? My goodness, Drew Anderson, welcome. How are you? And you brought my dog. Your dog you actually brought Lexi. showed me the way into the house. That's absolutely as incredible. I was avoiding the minefield of Thank police. you for coming down to, so, uh, yeah, to After's just... Alley here. Actually, uh, the last time somebody came down to After's Alley here, it was um, Aaron Ganey, one of the, ni the Nigerian nightmares. Yeah, big boy. How'd he fit in here? He fit very carefully. Did he really? Very, he very break carefully. anything? The Mill Moscris? No, he didn't, he didn't break anything. Mask. I didn't let him break anything there, but... I'm glad you came down, but yeah. I don't know why, and you know, we're friends, you've been uh, to my house for a before, long time, my many, many years, yeah. but what brings you down to uh, to the alley today? Behind the ropes. Behind the ropes? Oh, the documentary. Yes, the yeah. documentary. Yeah. The, the documentary. Tell the, uh, uh, for you people who don't know, uh, you've probably uh, seen at a lot of the conventions, the producer of the movie. Um, Mr. Michael James and several other people involved in this, along with uh, Mr. Anderson and Greg Valentine and Brutus Beefcake. Tito Santana. Tito Santana. Um, Superstar Billy Graham. Superstar Billy Graham. Superstar Boogeyman. Yeah. First time ever Boogeyman Marty appeared without his face paint. Yeah, but, but they are putting together this documentary uh, that they've uh, asked for my involvement in, um, and uh, I'm thrilled to that you're here to talk about it. So when did uh, when did filming commence on this? Filming started WrestleMania weekend right in uh, at the Meadowlands. 2013 in case you're watching this yes. in 2014. At uh, WrestleMania weekend at uh, the Meadowlands uh, at the, X, the convention center. Right. The Meadowlands right. Convention Center we started filming at the WrestleCon. Right. And uh, the trailer already premiered. It's uh, it's out. Uh, it's an eight minute teaser. A long teaser. Very can people go online to see yes, these? Trailer? Yes, they can. They what can. is the URL for that? Um, uh, I actually don't know it offhand. You do, know? Let me see if one of our uh, spies here is, sir. Uh, BehindTheRopes.com. BehindTheRopes.com. Simple, simple. That's someone from BehindTheCamera.com. Too many chair shots to the head.com. Yeah, really, no. really, <laughs> really. But you can see the teaser. Uh, uh, for it, and yeah. uh, so d what is the uh, what what's the premise behind this the world's greatest fraternity, gr the greatest fraternity in the world? Yeah. It's all about friendship. It's not your usual, you know, bump and grind of professional wrestling. Yeah, this is the, the fraternity of uh, professional wrestling is something that unless you're in that business, you can't really experience. But you could equate it probably to something like being in a fraternity where everybody's. You, because you're in that same group, in that same business, you're it's, part of the it's, family. It's a brotherhood, and, and when I started, there was uh, kayfabe, which has been since broken. Now, kayfabe, for you younger fans that don't understand it, the word kayfabe really means it, it was the secret world of professional wrestling back then, where if a stranger wanted to know something about the business, uh, and two wrestlers are hanging around, they'd go kayfabe, and they just kind of like... Change the subject. Away or change the subject. Change the subject, yeah. start talking carny. 
Yeah. Uh, carnival uh, talk. Carnival talk. Yeah. A sort of version of pig Latin, so yes, to speak. Yes. Yeah. 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 And um, you know, it's, it's just all about the relationships that through my 19 and a half years of pro wrestling wow. that I have cultivated from every level and every aspect of the sport. Yeah. From the broadcasting journalist that you are. Yes, thank you. From, you know, the, and you know I've idolized you from day one. You know I that. appreciate that. Thank I you have, very I much. Have. You know that. Yeah. So, a lot of respect for this man. And um, and I have no cash with me. So this is <laughs> uh, I'm just going to walk out with Mills, really? Mills Mask. Mills Mask, yes. <laughs> Actually, I don't think, yeah, they point to that. They can, uh, yeah, that's right, right over me. there. Yeah, right the Mill right Master's right Mask. Mask. Yes. So, yeah. um, so, like I said, from the broadcast journalist, all the way up to the legends of the ring, yeah. the Valentines, the Beefcakes, the Santanas, yeah. and um, as well as the, the contemporaries like Val Venus, um, Boogeyman, and uh, to uh, just guys on the bottom bottom shelf breaking into the business that I've helped train. Oh, I, and, I know you're, and you're act actually, uh, some of the guys that you've trained have uh, come to me and told me how intense your, your training sessions are, but that's yeah. to make you guys better. Yeah, to make you better and bigger and yeah. faster and, you, know, yeah. Yeah. you know, and try to keep keep up with the Joneses, so to speak. What's you know the I mean? target date for uh, the possible release? I would say, um, I would say probably about April or May, right? You think about April or May? Yeah. April 2014. Our producer, Mar Mike James, is uh, sitting here on the side, camera shy. We're looking to try to get it out in film festivals across the nation and maybe even worldwide to try to drum up some, you know, Intense. Uh, yeah, I'm in negotiations scrutiny. right now with this documentary to possibly narrate uh, a lot of this documentary. So uh, I'm I'm dying to see it. It's uh, see it. 20 years of this business is you know really taking its toll on my body and uh, you know working the indies for the most part, like Tito said, for a guy who really never worked the the you know on top in WWE or WCW or ECW. You know I've etched a career out. Oh, in the Indies, yes. Yeah, in the Indies, and, yes. and I'm one of the few guys who actually managed to make money and survive on a and make a living income and make a living out of it. And I, I always came up, I always said this, that if you did not know who Andrew Anderson was or is, you will. Yeah. You will. And that's how I did it. So You were in the movie The Wrestler. I was in the movie The Wrestler, yeah. and uh, yeah. yeah, I was at Skittles. Uh, commercial. The, Skittles the Skittles commercial. I have to give you a poster. One right. of my favorite. Yeah, I, I, actually, I'll put it right up here. Yeah. By the uh, this, by the way, is a Lego belt. I was there. Presented to you. You, yeah. did, you yeah. and we will have that story on here in another few weeks. We're just waiting for uh, a little more footage to come in. But this was made by uh, uh, this great man named Cody. Like four hundred Legos put into that. Well, thank you for coming. Uh, I'm happy for, to be for here. Coming oh, down, car in here. For coming down. For coming down to uh, uh, Actors Alley. Uh, it's a thrill having you, and uh, uh, I know one of the things that you have requested through yeah, the years the is belt. a shot at the Cal Championship Office Wrestling <laughs> belt. Uh, however, this is my studio; it's not my office. It doesn't. So leave here, it right? doesn't. Well, it, well, you can't. We can't wrestle here yeah, because this is a studio. It has to take place in an office. The coward's way out is what it cowards. is. The cowards. The coward's Championship way out. Yes. Office. Cowards. Yes, like, now so I always. I, I have a question for you before. Yeah, I, I always ask my guests, do they have anything that they want to know from me? Yeah, and I have a question for you. Pro wrestling this week. Oh. When I was when I was just a mark, because every wrestler. Some, some fans point, don't know what a mark is. When you were a fan. Hardcore fan of professional wrestling. Yeah. So when. I kind of knew because I was in the business through family and uh, and friends, so I was kind of already through family, through family, the Anderson family, right? Yes. Of course. So of course. I kind of knew the ins and outs of the business, but I still would watch it and have that mark. Not the pretzel aspect. guys, by the way. No, not the okay. an, not Good. Anderson pretzels. Right. No, Good. we we were the Andersons that turn you into pretzels. Exactly. Wow. And I, I like would watch that. this show called Pro Wrestling this week with yeah. a gentleman named Joe Pettisino and another fellow by the name of. Willie Apta. Willie Apta. I had a segment on there every week, a Pro Wrestling Illustrated segment, where we do the uh, the weekly rankings. Yes. And I miss that show terribly. You know, it, today um, I put out a call to a lot of the independent federations to send me just a few minutes of tape that maybe we could do a once a month type of Pro Wrestling This Week show. And uh, the I love the independent companies but no one has time to send this thing to the me. indies are sort of like what the territories used to be yes yeah, without money absolutely. right without money right. for the most part right. you know i mean you know it's skittles it's, it's, and anderson pretzels and skittles stuff. and uh yeah. doritos commercial you like my yeah. doritos commercial i love it i love it doritos I love power it. bomb i love it so 
Thank you so much. For, I hope I answered nope. your question. Yes, you but did. We, you I did. loved pro wrestling this week. 401wrestling.com down here at After's Alley. I want to thank you for being a special guest today. And, uh, you know, you got to point at the camera. We'll see you at we'll the matches. We'll see you at the matches. Yeah.